collective, this will be a general reading. So this applies to all signs, um, whoever resonates with this reading. All right, so let's just jump on in and take a look at what's going on here. We have number 35, unlock your heart, and number, I guess this is one, access your access clear thinking. Collective, what I'm feeling here is that um, someone is in need of opening their heart. Um, they need to do some work on the heart chakra for sure. Opening up their heart and truly thinking clearly about a decision. I see that there is a lot of chemistry with someone. I see that there's a lot of attraction and this could definitely be true love. But someone's heart is not completely open and there's a need to do some self-care and to work on themselves so that they can truly see what they have in front of them. Um, with the pay attention to the red flags here, this is dealing with someone needing to release um, what does not serve their higher purpose and releasing it with gratitude and love. I see that someone may be still crying over spilled milk, still hurting from situations from the past, but there's an opportunity for new love here and there's a need to spend time apart. I'm not saying apart from the relationship, but for someone to isolate themselves so that they can really access clear thinking because not everything is black and white. So someone's vision may be very clouded as to what they need to do here. But um, the access to clear thinking lets me know that someone needs to really meditate, really um, take some time out to healing. And I'm just doing another reading that should be um, already premiere for you guys that kind of makes me think about this here this reading um accessing clear thinking so that you can really see that this is an opportunity for you to have true love regardless of what happened in the past um if you allow yourself to receive this new love it's going to be there the attraction is there there's true love, there's chemistry, but there's also a need to work on yourself so that you can truly receive love. You could be a person who is used to giving love, but not sure how to receive it. And you could be meeting someone who is giving you the love that you need, but you're not sure of how to receive that love. Okay, so let's take a look here at um, the messages come out for you guys because I really do feel that someone has an opportunity to experience something that they've always wanted but the heart is very closed off at this time you could have gone through a lot of heartbreak and disappointment and even though you feel this chemistry you feel this attraction you feel that this could be true love you haven't truly embraced it and there's the hierophant here so there could be a need for you to you know seek divine wisdom and counsel or this could be you who you know you could be thinking traditionally thinking about traditional values when it comes to your relationships um, or this could be a relationship that's going to a, a higher level of commitment but Someone hasn't completely um, given in to this idea. Let's see what's going on here for the collective here. What do we have here for the collective? Because I want for each and every one of us to truly receive what is destined for us to have. So we have the Eight of Wands. This is rapid communication or someone really putting forth action into a situation tell me more someone is dealing with conflict now there's a lot of fire out here this could be a fire sign or you could have strong fire placements aries leo sag so someone's conflicted maybe about communicating about something tell me more what's going on here In spite of it all, I think, collective, the overall message is that your heart needs to be open so that you can receive what is for you. And if your heart is closed off, 
then you could have a beautiful opportunity in front of you and you can miss that opportunity because you're not completely healed, you know? And we don't want to miss that. Like I said, not everything is, you know, black or white. Sometimes you have to really um, take time to really decide what's going to be the best for you. And although we would like an easy path, not everything comes to us easy. Some packages look rough, <laughs> but it's still the best thing for us, right? All right. Let me see what's going on with the collective here. That's a lot. And the card But I do see the King of Cups. So if he shows up again, some of you could be dealing with the water sign. Or you could be a water sign. Not really showing a whole lot of emotion because you're not wanting to be the first one to express it. That could be the case here. What's this here? Six of Wands. Okay. So I feel that there is victory and success that is here for you, um, collective. You could have a platform. You could be uh, admired and, and loved and respected by many people here, okay? But at the same time, in private, you are the Eight of Wands or Eight of Swords. You are conflicted. You're bound up in some type of entrapment. Look at this. In the public eye, everyone sees you as success, victorious. They look at you as someone is, who is idolized, but in your private, look at you. You're the Eight of Swords, whoever I'm speaking to. You are bound up. You're confused. You're conflicted with something. That's not the way this is designed to be. That's why there's a need for you to work on yourself so that you can unlock your heart here and work, work on some self-care. Tell me more here. What else do I need to know for the collective? I need to know for the collective. That's a lot of cards. Not going to take those. But yeah, I mean, it's so easy for us to get caught up in the hype. Look at that. You have opportunity in love, a choice. Okay? Or someone has chosen you. Someone sees a future with you. But is your heart open to receive this is the question here. Tell me more. So that this could be a beautiful divine connection. Ace of Wands, a beautiful, a beautiful beginning. Look at this. Ace of Wands. I feel that you have an opportunity in love that is going to be very passionate. It's the ultimate passionate connection. Something that you've waited for. Or this is an opportunity that is um you've been very passionate about. Something that you've always wanted with the Ace of Wands. Why is the Ace of Wands out here? What is going on with my collective? This is here. I'm not going to take those. They were in upside down. But it was the Two of Cups and the Two of Wands. So this could be you in a, a very strong divine connection making plans for the future. But I don't know. I'm not going to take that. Let's see what else is going on here. Strength. Someone is needing the strength and the courage to move forward with something. What is this? The Empress and the Five of Cups. Let me get my cards together here. Yeah. Getting the strength to move past the regret from the past. You know, it's it's time to pick up and move on from the past. And I'm, I know that that's not easy to do because depending on what you've been through, it could be very difficult for you. But with the Five of Cups, you're you're crying over spilled milk but you still have an opportunity in love that's available for you you are the empress you are the emperor you have the ability to create and manifest whatever you want in your life but it's time for you to unlock and to heal this heart okay in order for you to really see what's in front of you because i feel that many of you have already met someone who really captures your heart but because of what you've gone through in the past it's affecting the connection Look at this. The high priestess. You intuitively know. Or you're withholding. You're withholding information or secrets. Or you're not really expressing yourself. You know. But you know that this is something that could go the distance. This is something with the three of pentacles. That you need to work on and bring balance to. 
that it can really be something beautiful. But you've got to be willing to pull in, put in that effort. Look at this justice card. <laughs> These cards just fell out. So with the justice card, there's, there's balance, there's justice that's coming to a situation. With the Seven of Cups, you could be weighing your options or, or confused or in some type of illusion about what you really need to do. And that is why it is important for you to access clear thinking because you're not really sure exactly what to do with the Seven of Cups. You have options. You could choose money. You could choose vanity you could choose all these other things but what's really going to bring balance into your life what's really going to give you the true desire of your heart that's what someone is needing to focus on look at this two of cups this divine union you have a divine union here it's available to you if you choose i mean but if you're going to stay in the seven of wands and look at other things not and think with your lower self and not your higher self, then you're going to miss the opportunity for some of you. Okay? Yeah, you may have been hurt in the past, but there's an opportunity to have a new beginning with someone who you are attracted to. There's a lot of chemistry with but maybe you're thinking that all people are the same here. Eight of swords at the bottom. I mean, eight of cups. You could be walking away from a divine opportunity because you're not completely healed anymore. Tell me more what's going on with the collective. What's this here? Will of Fortune is working in your favor. It might take a little time. But there is an offer. There is something that's solid. There is something that's going to go the distance for you. But it's just coming in slow. And that's what you need right now. Because you're still in a place where you're trying to figure this all out. Right? Some of you are still in a place where you're still trying to release some things from the past. So, you need something that's going to go slow. And many of you could meet someone. And it could go slow. And you could take, you know, take your time with this person. Because... You're still in need of healing here with this Knight of Swords. This is someone rushing in. Tell me about this Knight of Swords. Okay. So someone's been in some type of mental conflict. Okay. Someone's been really in their head with this Five of Swords, wanting to change the situation, possibly with you, or you could be the one trying to change the situation with a pen of, Queen of Pentacles, okay, with so, someone who's stable, solid, you know, long term. Maybe this is the opportunity that you have. Maybe you have been taking a long time at going towards this opportunity, and now you're realizing you need to rush in. You need to get your mind right. Or this Queen of Pentacles is going to be gone to whoever it resonates with. Tell me more. Yeah, Three of Cups. That Five of Pentacles did stick out. So someone may have been left out in the cold in the past. Um, third, Three of Cups is a celebration. Okay? So you want to have victory. You want to celebrate with this person. You want to... Um, have some type, some type of happiness. I mean, with the Three of Cups, this is, you know, friends coming together to celebrate something. And they're looking up at the stars because something happened. Some, some wish came true for someone. And I feel like someone may have taken a long time to come in, but they don't want to miss this opportunity. And now they're coming. Okay. Or this is you. Tell me more. Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. You don't want to miss this new this opportunity at a new beginning. And I feel that someone, you or someone, may be rushing in after being a bit confused, 
when does it come in to make this solid offer that's going to lead to some type of celebration that's why it's important for you to unlock your heart and clear your thinking because you have a new opportunity at love here but if you allow your fears from the past to overtake you then you're going to miss out on this opportunity knight of cups page of cups so someone may be coming in with a gift and opportunity you know wanting to apologize someone doesn't want you to get away or you don't want someone else to get away so you're coming to make this offer you may be sending a message out or you may receive a message very soon from someone with an apology and and wanting to mend a situation. The moon in reverse. Someone wants to communicate some things that they had not spoken before. They wanted to release their feelings. Release something to you that maybe this is what you were waiting for. Tell me more. Maybe this person was keeping some information from you. Good or bad. Ace of Cups. Someone wants a new beginning. Tower. Now that they've been awakened, they want a new beginning. Judgment, they want a second chance. Six of Cups. This is a soulmate connection. Someone wants to come towards you with an offer. Unlock your heart. But think clearly about it. Make the best decision that's for you. Okay? You need to decide if this is something that you should hold on to or something that you should release. It's up to you. Guys, I'm going to leave it here. I hope that I've said something that gives you some type of enlightenment, some type of wisdom. Whatever you decide to do, I hope that it's the best thing for you. Let's get some advice. I want I want you to succeed. I want you to be successful. I want you to have victory. Most importantly, like you were you were put on this earth for a bigger purpose and and we none of us want to be alone. So I hope that whatever connection this is, it comes together beautifully for you. And if it's not this connection, that there will be another. The answers you need are coming. If you've been wondering about this connection or some type of union, the answers are coming. One more for the collective. One more for the collective. There may be a need to meditate and contemplate so that you can access clear thinking in this situation. I feel that many of you are going to be presented with an opportunity and you're going to need to be able to know whether this is the right one for you or not. Whatever your decision is, Go with your instinct. Go with your intuition. Let it lead you. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it here. And I hope you make the right decision for yourself. I believe you will. Talk to you soon.